Greetings, Daniel Persado for Adobe Photoshop CS6. And today we're going to look at Actions and Allow Tool Recording. In your Actions panel, if you look here in the drop-down menu, you'll see Allow Tool Recording. I've already checked it off here. It's probably unchecked by default, but I'm going to check it here. And I'm going to show you what you can do with this. I've actually created this drawing and I've done it, run it twice. So there's a red line and a black line with different widths. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and create a new canvas. There we go. And... I'm going to go ahead and run the act. I'm going to go ahead and start the action here. And I'm going to draw something on my canvas. Let's make it quite large. Do something different here. And I'm just going to scribble on here. It's very exciting, I know. How about some lines like this and some lines like that? And let's stop it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this canvas because it's going to create me a new one so you can see the effect. It's probably going to be very fast because there's not a lot there. And there you go. Boom, it's there. Now, not very exciting, is it? So let's do something a little more interesting. I'm going to go ahead and create. Let's go ahead and see if this canvas is on. Okay, it is. I'm going to create the hero. Now, I drew this over a period of time, and it recorded all the strokes. I used tool presets to create different brushes. This is using my blue line pencil brush, and then it switches to a comic inker pen or that type of style. And mind you, these actions are quite large. They're, this one's probably around 140 megabytes in size, so they are pretty beefy. But they do pack a punch, right? I mean, they're, they're quite interesting. And you could run different tool presets. You could use different ink styles, different brush styles, different colors. And you can run them over and over and over. And it's quite fascinating to see the results when you do experiment with these things. And you can add stops. And in this case, I had to add a stop because we need to change the brush size. So let's go ahead and bring this up to 25 for the color, and I'm just going to continue on. And it's going to add the color. Now with tool presets, you can just probably switch the tool, right? And then it'll have that brush size in there, and you don't have to worry about stopping the action. Tool prints, really handy. Actions, allow tool recording, really cool. I haven't seen a lot of video tutorials on it, but it can do a lot of great things. And again, it's asking me to stop to make the brush smaller for that silly little signature. We'll go ahead and, and run it again to finish it off. And there you go. I mean, you could imagine it'd be really cool to have someone like Bill Sienkiewicz to, to do a drawing of Daredevil or Spider-Man or even Jimi Hendrix and have that included in Photoshop and then you could run it and see him work and see his style. So these are the kind of things to think about, all the different styles and different things you could pass around and experiment with. So if you have any questions, leave some comments and thank you for watching.